welcome to my channel. Today I just wanted to talk a bit about having a home with multiple cats. I have three cats in my house and at one point I had four and three I find is a really fun number to have and if I could have all the cats I would. But it isn't always easy living in a house with multiple cats. Even two cats can be really challenging, especially if you've had one cat for a few years and then you get a second cat. If you don't get cats that are both kittens and at the same time or even from the same litter, it can be challenging to have multiple cats in your home. And when you look around and try and find information on how to get cats to live together and to be friendly with each other. A lot of the information is about just how to introduce cats, which is really, really important and not something that you should kind of overlook. But if you've already kind of done the introduction and maybe you did it the right way, maybe you made some mistakes, either way, the introduction is done, the cats know each other, they've been living together for a while and they're still not really getting along or there might be some aggression or you don't even really know if they are playing or if they're fighting. I do have a really good video on how to tell if your cat is playing or if your cats are being aggressive with each other so I'll leave a link to that in the description below and also I'll have a link pop up on the screen. I'm not sure if it's this side or this side. But anyway, um, you can watch that video to first figure out if your cats are being aggressive or, or if they are actually playing. Sometimes it can be really hard to tell the difference. So as I said, the first introduction between two cats is really important and it can really set the foundation for a positive relationship. But you can't always um, go back and fix that if you didn't do a proper introduction or if the introduction just didn't go that well. So now you're in a situation and you're wondering, how can I get these cats to be friendly or to live together? So there are kind of three things that you can look at if you're in this type of situation. The first thing is to reduce the need to fight over resources. When I say resources, this includes everything that the cat uses or does, like food bowls, litter boxes, water, beds, comfortable places to sit and to sleep, windows to look out of, toys, even your attention. And this also includes thinking about your space and your home. So cats tend to think and live in a vertical world while we live in a horizontal world. So this means that cats like height, they like to climb, they like to sit and perch up high, and they see the world a bit differently than we do. So first consider if you have vertical space for your cat and for both cats. So some cats prefer to be lower, some prefer to be up high. Figure out what your cat likes and then make sure that you have enough vertical or lower room. Cat trees are perfect for this, but if you have more than one cat, you may need more than one cat tree. And these cat trees should be in different locations. This goes for all the resources, the food, the water, the litter boxes. The rule for these things, food, water, and litter boxes, is you want however many you have, cats you have, plus one. So if you have two cats, you should have three litter boxes. If you have two cats, you should have three bowls of food. This is if you free feed. If you give your cats food at a same time every day, then obviously you only need two bowls. You don't need to have put a third empty bowl out. If you have two cats, you should have three spots where they can access water. And then just following that math, if you have three cats, you should have four litter boxes. I have three cats and I had four litter boxes for a pretty long time and I found that one of the litter boxes was never being used so I was able to eliminate that litter box without any problems. Again, adjust it. Every cat's a little bit different but definitely start out with however many cats you have plus one. Doing this eliminates the need for your cat to kind of fight over the litter box or fight over resources. And again, remember this go is especially important for litter boxes. If you have three litter boxes for two cats, don't have all three litter boxes in the same room or lined up next to each other. They should be scattered throughout the house or the area that your cats, sp cats spend the most time in. So if you have two floors, maybe have two litter boxes on one floor and one litter box on another floor, all in different rooms. 
Next, also make sure that you have enough beds for each cat, thinking about if they like a ver vertical space or if they like to be lower. Have options and have them in different rooms, different locations. Kind of figure out what your cat likes and juggle these beds or these spaces around till you find the perfect spot for your cats. Just make sure that there's always options. So you should definitely have more than two kind of areas if you have two cats, more than two areas for your cat to go to. And again, remember to have just multiple toys, different varieties of toys, have some toys out available around the house. These toys can be played with when you are not around and they should be toys that aren't dangerous for your cats. Like they shouldn't have strings. If you leave kind of toys with long strings around or those wand toys, your cats can get kind of caught up in them and tangled and definitely don't leave those out but leave like little balls and things that your cat can kind of bat around by themselves and hide these in different areas put some up high on the cat tree some down low so your cat can kind of discover them and find them while you're not home and then of course give both of your cats equal attention some cats like to cuddle some don't some like to play figure out what your cat likes and give that to your cat the second thing to consider is your cat's confidence. To have two cats living together or multiple cats living together, they all need to be fairly confident. And if you're having trouble with or aggression or fear with some of your cats and you're having trouble in a multiple cat household, you really need to build up all of your cat's confidence. Naturally, there's going to be one cat that's more confident. Figure out which one that is. That's usually the one that's provoking the other cat to hiss or growl and then build up the confidence of the cat that is feeling a little scared or shy or fearful. To build up the confidence of your cat, you can play with your cat. So a cat that is feeling low in confidence, play with them a lot more and give your cat lots of new stimulating things to explore. These can be cardboard boxes, even egg cartons, egg crates. Just give your cat new things and let your cat explore and discover. The third thing to consider is just getting your cats comfortable around each other in general. So you want your cats to think of positive things when they see each other. So feed your cats together or close to each other when they're in the same room and just observe. Some cats might need to be far apart, but as long as they're in the same room, they can associate good things with seeing that other cat. Also play with your cats while they're in the same room. You might need two people, one to play with each cat until they're comfortable with each other, but they'll associate play, which is good, with seeing the other cat. So I hope this was helpful and if you have any questions, please leave them in the comments and please like and subscribe for a lot more videos on all different animals. Thanks for watching. Bye.